Remember that friendly guy from the old TV show Gilligan's Island? You know, the one who played the character Gilligan. He was really good at making people laugh and feel happy. He's someone a lot of people still think about fondly. Share your memories and stories about him below. And don't forget to stick around because there are some interesting, surprising, and maybe even sad facts coming up in this video. In the mid 20th century, a young man from New Rochelle, New York, embarked on a journey that would lead him to become a beloved figure in television history. Born into a tight-knit family, he discovered his love for acting early on and pursued it with determination. His path to success included stints in local theater during high school and later refining his skills at Loyola University Serving in the United States Army not only taught him discipline, but also provided opportunities to perform for fellow troops, solidifying his passion for entertainment. After his military service, he transitioned to television, landing roles that would define his career. His breakthrough came with a character named Maynard G. Krebs, showcasing his comedic flair. However, it was his portrayal of a hapless castaway in a show set on a deserted island that truly propelled him into stardom. The television series became a sensation, capturing the hearts of audiences across the nation and securing his place in pop culture history. His early experiences, family support, military background, and memorable roles all contributed to his success in the entertainment industry. His impact as an actor continues to resonate with audiences, a testament to his talent and dedication. And thus, his story serves as an inspiration to aspiring actors everywhere. In the late 1950s, he acted in a show called The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis with Dwayne Hickman. Even though they were in their 20s, they played teenage characters. Interestingly, Dwayne Hickman was actually his classmate at Loyola Marymount. The funny exchanges he had with Alan Hale Jr. in Gilligan's Island were inspired by Stan Laurel and Oliver Hardy, the famous comedy duo. This made the show more enjoyable for everyone, blending old-fashioned humor with modern storytelling. The humor and camaraderie he brought to the screen still make people laugh today. This story, including some behind-the-scenes tales, gives us a peek into how these characters were created. In a popular TV show, he played the main character alongside a Hungarian actor named Janos Prohaska. There was even an episode where the show crossed over with Scooby-Doo. This connection might be funny because one of the Scooby-Doo characters, Shaggy, was based on a character he also played. It's interesting that he's the only one from the show who didn't appear in Gunsmoke. This adds another interesting fact to his acting career. In a memorable episode of a classic TV show, Zamba and a certain actor teamed up for the first time. Later, they joined forces again on another well-known series. He faced some tough health issues in the mid-2000s, having surgery for heart problems and then dealing with cancer. After his surgery, he took a step back from acting to focus on getting better and spending time with his family. Despite his health struggles, he stayed positive and cherished every moment with his loved ones. He was loved by fans all over the world for his roles on TV, which brought joy to many. His warm personality and talent made him a favorite in the entertainment world. His life story serves as a reminder of how one person's work can touch the hearts of so many people. Known for his role as Beatnik Maynard G. Krebs on the comedy series The Many Loves of Dobie Gillis, he became famous for his exclamation work whenever the word was mentioned nearby. He started his journey at Loyola Marymount in Los Angeles, earning a degree in political science. Initially considering a career in law, he pivoted to acting, making his West Coast stage debut in the late 1950s. Despite enjoying sailing, he dreaded renting a boat due to the inevitable jokes about a three-hour tour. But regardless, he remained a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. In real life, he was quite different from the funny characters he played on TV. He got in trouble with the law twice for having marijuana. Despite his famous roles, he faced tough times. When he played Maynard G. Krebs, he had to learn a lot about beatniks. He spent time in LA's coffee shops and hangouts to understand the culture. By diving into LA's scene, he really got into the beatnik lifestyle. Even with his legal issues, he showed he was more than just a funny guy on TV. The difference between his real life and TV persona shows how good he was at acting. When he played Maynard G. Krebs, he made the character feel real by learning from L.A.'s surroundings. People loved how genuine Maynard felt because of his experiences. Looking back, the man who played Maynard G. Krebs had an interesting life. He mixed TV with real life, and his acting skills left a lasting impression. His real-life struggles added to his mysterious charm. Imagine landing a role that not only kickstarts your career, but also leads to reshaping TV history. That's exactly what happened to a certain actor before he became famous as Gilligan on a popular TV show. 
Starting off as a character named Maynard G. Krebs, he owed his audition opportunity to his sister's influence. When it came to Gilligan's Island, there was a disagreement over how the credits should be listed. One cast member insisted on being last, sparking a demand for fairness from our actor, which eventually led to a significant change in the show's opening credits. This change wasn't just about who got top billing, but about recognizing the entire cast contributions equally. It was a moment that showed his commitment to fairness and unity in the industry, setting a new standard for TV credits. And so, the opening credits reflected this equality, marking a historic shift that still resonates today. In the world of television, there was a talented actor whose work touched the hearts of many. He brought joy to audiences through his memorable performances alongside a famous cat actor named Orangey. Together, they lit up the screen in beloved TV shows, creating magic with their chemistry. Following his passing in 2005, his friend Sheila James Kuehl, known for her role in the many loves of Dobie Gillis, spoke fondly of him. She highlighted his warmth both on and off the screen, rallying the Senate to honor his memory. Beyond his TV roles, he was adored for his kindness and enthusiasm, leaving a void in the entertainment world when he passed away. However, his spirit lives on through the characters he portrayed, inspiring generations of actors. In the history of television, his name shines bright as a symbol of talent and charm that will never fade away. His work continues to touch the hearts of those who watched him perform. Isn't it fascinating how some actors' lives intertwine in unexpected ways? Take, for instance, someone born just a day after Elvis Presley. They shared a unique connection with the iconic singer, both having portrayed love interests of Michelle Carey in different films. In his family life, his son appeared in an episode of Gilligan's Island, playing a younger version of the character Gilligan during a dream sequence. He was a father to several children and a grandfather as well. Beyond his acting career, he left a significant impact on both the entertainment industry and his family. It's fascinating how some actors become synonymous with their iconic roles, isn't it? In one particular TV show, a cast member's passing coincided with what would have been another actor's birthday. This show, which aired back in the day, starred someone known for playing a character named Gilligan. Interestingly, in a memoir written by one of the show's actresses, it's mentioned that another actor served as a stand-in for risky scenes and even portrayed a robot in one episode. Before this show brought him fame, he had a minor part in a movie from the late 1950s which featured actor Sal Mineo. Quite the journey from a small film role to television stardom, 